Why look at everybody flying in the room tonight? Greg, how are you doing, brother? Hey, Raymond. Johnny Sins, I haven't seen that one. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Somebody was logged in as me or what? Somebody's logged in as me. That, uh, too funny. All right, guys, we're going to get rock and roll here. Two hands up. in the world somebody is logged in as me. Did that take care of I think that took care of whoever was on there. Sorry, guys. Ah, uh, okay, okay, I get it. Somebody signed up for the webinar and used my name. I was like, who in the hell is using my name on here? But uh, anyhow, I apologize, guys. Um, I don't think in the recorder deal anybody can see that. That. Uh, not not cool but uh, anyhow let's go with let's dig dig into this thing i got the recording going i gotta i can't bs as much as i used to in the beginning because it makes the video for youtube there's like nothing on it for the first couple of minutes <laughs> that uh A uh, couple answers. We are starting right now. That uh, a couple of people asking when are we going to start. We are starting right now. So let's go to Google Share Google Chrome Share Desktop Two. you guys to be able to see all right can just comments question answers all right I got this back up I'm gonna move my bald head over to the right hand side All right, got about 30 people in here. All right, can you all, if you can put in the chat box here. Go 
questions and answers. More, there we go, chat. Okay, can you guys can you guys see my Google tab open here? The Google Chrome. All right. Um, I wanted to start out. If you guys all saw my post earlier on Twitter, this actually hit home today. My mom had polio. She got it uh, in let me see here, 1952. Uh, it was about six months before the polio vaccination came out. She was just six months old and got polio. So she grew up on a set of crutches and braces on her leg. Uh, in the early 80s, she would got a experimental surgery done where they took like a tendon out of her arm and attached it. Um, polio kind of just makes your muscles go dead. So they don't work, but they attached this tendon somewhere in her foot where she could lift her foot up. And she was able to actually use a cane for probably 15 years, maybe 20, probably 15, 20 years before she had to go back to crutches again. So uh, this epidemic going around right now, I think um, a lot of people forget about what's most important in life and it's not money, man. I can tell you the, the more that I chased money when I was younger, the less money I had. And about 40 years old, it finally hit me. Uh, and my grandpa told me about it when I was 21 and did, I didn't listen to him. But he said, time was the most important thing in the world that you have, not money. And I wish I would have listened to him, you know, 19 years earlier, I would have saved myself a lot of hell. Uh, I hope that this coronavirus, COVID-19 thing that's going on right now, I hope it kind of opens up everybody's eyes that you know your family your kids your well-being your health all that stuff is the most important thing that you've got so that being said it's good training for you all right guys this week i am going to show you a new chart that i made up for roller coaster that this will make it whole lot easier for you guys to see what's going on in the big picture so what you see here we're gonna duplicate so we're gonna go over on your trading view tab you're going to have to open up just any chart and we are going to create a You just hover over this top left button right here. Go over, if you guys see me looking over to the right, I have my other monitors uh, around here. So I have the chat box, probably open the chat box over there so I can see it there. Um, that way if you ask a question, I can see it. Uh, so hover over this box right here, click on it. Your, the current workspace is on there. The next one, just go down, new layout. Oh, it's Cools, it just opens up completely blank. Nothing on there. So what we are going to do is we're gonna click this box right here. We're gonna go down to number eight. Now only if you have the premium subscription uh, will you have this many options. I think they limit you down to like number four. I think with the higher premiums you have more windows open. So we are going to click the simple link. When it's blue, that means it's on. I like the crosshair, so when I'm moving around on one chart, I can see it on the other. We'll click out of that. We're gonna, uh, well, we won't save it yet. Going right over here, I have, if you guys paid attention in the first uh, webinar on TradingView, I taught you guys how to save your indicators on here. I'm just going to show you, this is how easy it is, and then I'm going to show you how to create it again. You just click one time, and roller coaster is on here. I don't have to go to edit whole nine yards, but I'm going to teach you that. This second box, you're going to go up here to this FX, which is indicators of strategies. Click down on that box, and go to invite only, and then roller coaster. Just click it one time. 
All right, click out of that box. There you go. Now what you can do then is go up here. I've got it saved. Indicated templates. Let's go. Well, all right. It's not letting me. It's not. I already have it saved in here. So it's not letting me do it. Uh, basically, what I just added right here would not be it. Put a little star on it. If you notice up here at the top, it disappears. I put the star back. Roller coasters back up there. So now I can go over here and just click roller coaster, roller coaster, roller coaster, roller, roller, roller. All right, what you're going to do in this top left box, uh, Manchow, it will be underneath, um, it's either underneath the tr uh, Trade the Fifth website. Uh, underneath the videos, or uh, yes, you must have the roller coaster uh, on trading to be able to add it. Um, but or you can just uh, Google the YouTube account and look up Trade the Fifth on the YouTube account, and it's I do one every Wednesday. And you'll see them there. Well, this is taking off right here. I don't know what's going on? But we're gonna go top left. You're gonna go two minutes. Click the next box, click three minutes. Click the next box, click four minutes. Next box, five minutes. Then the bottom left, you're gonna go 10, 15, 30, and one hour. And something that's kind of nice on uh, trading view, you get moving stuff around and you're like, you got it all crunched up and you're like, man, where the hell am I on this thing? Just hover over the screen. There's a little like reset chart. Just click it and it takes you right back to where you got to go. So I'm going to click all these. Down. And then you can click the box in the middle. It'll make it look good one. That's a good move. Market is weird today, guys. Uh, not my day. I played it earlier today, and I was done. It's like lunchtime. Doing too many ups and downs too quick. Uh, five minutes later. And, all right. If you look down here on the 15 minute chart, this is a. a Hopefully, hopefully while I'm doing this, you guys can see this while I'm happening. Uh, since it's happening on the 15, we might, might see it on this 60 minute chart. If you notice, I'll blow this up so you guys can see it better. Notice this, this green arrow right here, it's going to look really small. Uh, when you have it down here in the box, you can see it's just really small. It is going to pop up first before you see any, before you see the orange box. So it's got to go so many minutes into that 15 minute candle before this orange box will open. I actually think it's the second one it does. But it will paint this. And I don't know if you guys notice how fast I just use my mouse to zoom in and out. I don't know another platform. But this green arrow pops up, and the green line, which is your entry line, pops up first. Yeah, Trevor, uh, I have a call in. Uh, my internet company is going to come out tomorrow. I think they just put new sod on the side of the townhouses, and I think they may have nicked my uh, fiber optic line because it's been uh, 
it's just been acting weird. I'm only getting like four, 35, 40 megs of download. Uh, I went from one gig to 100 meg, and I don't think I've ever had 100 meg since I moved in. Uh, so I apologize, guys. I also have my Yeti microphone. Um, I was not able to hook it up tonight. Um, I did have the new uh, camera that's been sitting in the box forever. That way you guys can see me. That's on there. But the first thing that's going to pop up is going to be this arrow. And then your green line before the orange box comes up. So when things start happening, you'll typically on the two minute and if you look over here, the two minutes started at 1826. So what is that, six? Six something. The next one didn't start up until, that one's been going for a while on that. Four minutes, same way that. We don't have a new one on this one. This was violated going down. Got one on the 10 minute at 17.10 that it started. I typically, let me show you on this one. On, I typically on these, when they take off, I like to wait until the next step, I call it the step up right here. Because um, a lot of times it'll come up and it sets the first bar, just like this one did, then pull back up in. And then moves over. When it moves over, it typically goes after that. So this one here, I would have waited until this bar right here. So I would have taken that at 76. That would be about 12 ticks. Down there on it. But you watch them in order as they get going. Let's go to a different symbol. This one's not new. It's evening time, guys, so things are not going. And that's one of the things when you create this chart, uh, you click that down when you do the symbol link right there. When you do that, no matter what you click on over here, it's going to show up. All right, see here is YM also popped up just a little bit. All right, we had a nice two minute run on that. Stopped it out 12 minutes ago. And this one got stopped out too. Long. It's All right, 10 minute, 10 minute, we got a new one that's starting. I want to see this go over 1077 before it takes off on it. But keep in mind, on your higher time frame, you've got a 60 minute going down, and it's still going. Now, let me show you what I do. This is what I like to do on my charts. Everybody always tells you you need to frame your charts on a higher time frame. So on here, I want you to go to your two minute window, each one of these windows, you open each one individually, go to one hour, and then in that one hour, I want you to draw channel we're going to go down to regression trend. And then I have mine set up on templates. So we the color. But I'm going to do two on here. One from here to here. All right. And then I'm going to do another one on this current trend. All right. So we can see since 326, we've been on a downturn, obviously. All right. Now, take this back to a two minute. 
zoom backwards, and now you have your long time frame channel on your roller coaster. Look how, look at some of these opportunities that were in here. Obviously, you wouldn't have this as a channel, but coming off the top, this was a good move down. Good move below the channel, they come back up, back down there. It didn't give you a signal to go to back down, but this was a nice one here that just kept, it stopped you out right here, but it just kept going and going. You went from one side down to the other. We went sideways, nice move out, and then a monster move right there, guys. Monster, monster move. Down, and then off that center channel line, that's, you know, I like taking my trades from the top or from the bottom. And if you look in the current trend that we are in right now going down, we're at the channel top. Look what it did, it pulled back. Now, whether it'll keep going, we don't know. It's frame, and that's the, uh, using that center button gets you right back to where you're at. We're gonna go to your next chart, your three minute. Same, oh, excuse me, I lost something. Let's go, let's go here. I'm going to highlight the channel line, right click it, and go down, sync to all charts. All right, and then same way with the other channel, right click it, sync to all charts. Now, a 60 minute channel is all over the place. Ah, let me do it again because I have to pull all right, we're going to on your two minute chart and go to one hour. Maybe uh, put your normally it says trend line, you put the one says trend line, go down to the bottom, progression trend. I have mine set up for different colors. I'm going to do six minutes. And I'm going to Top of here, or to the bottom of that arrow. Okay. And click it again. It remembers whichever one you picked the last time. It remembers it click on again. And I'm going to do current, which is the top of that that candle. This candle. Stephen, uh, man, I don't know. I apologize. It, uh, my internet company here, I think the sod guys that put the new sod in. Uh, let me try something here. How about this one? Is that any better using this mic? I've got two different ones I could pick off up here. Is that any better? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, that, uh, uh, let's see. Nil and Jay, on the uh, time frames up top, are they set in the tabs? Uh, yes. If you click down, there's a star by each one of these. So if I wanted 30 seconds and 15 seconds, I just put a star and now they're over here at the top. If you don't want certain things on there, you can just take them off. Uh, I don't go down to the one minute very often. Uh, so, but that's how you do it. Typically it only has like four or five sitting right here. Good, James, I'm glad it worked out. Thank you guys for letting me know that that wasn't sounding right. Uh, okay, so we framed this chart on a one hour, okay? Right click that channel line and sync to all charts. Click that and then this one that's going down, right click that channel line, sync to all charts, and then click back out and that is now on all of them. You can click that little uh, reset chart and it'll bring it up close. The Now one of the things is you have to zoom out for a bigger channel, especially on the smaller time frames. you got to zoom farther out. That's what's nice about trading views. You can actually just do your mouse, drag, 
and it puts it in there really quick. All right, so we got that one, this one here, same way. Zoom out, sometimes it takes a second for it to pop up. Saves you a lot of time of what's going on on that. And I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna hit that refresh that puts me where I know where we're at. Then we'll look at there. There, there, and there. As you can see on having this current channel that's going on here, and this started 3.31 at 11 o'clock yesterday, working here. So this channel, you would have drawn this this morning. Look how, let me open this up. Look how well we have uh, on this hourly channel, we have stayed inside of it. It's really done really, really well on it. Um, this move, even though roller coaster would stop you out here at 1089 on this RTY, uh, I would be out down here because we hit the bottom of the channel. I'm not gonna, you know what I mean? You got enough ticks from here to here. You don't got to be greedy to try to get six more, eight more. When it hit, hits the side of that channel, my stop loss is going to be right behind it to take it out. Now, I'm going to look for it to go down again right here because we're in this channel. And we've respected it quite well all the way down. But you can take that same channel, go over here to your two minutes, Zoom out so it pops up. And then see where you're at inside of there. Nice opportunity there just a little bit ago. Another one going down. Let's zoom in here. Coming out of there, did really well. Coming down, you pulled some there. And then a nice move right there that stopped you out. And now you're on that top channel line on a two minute. Click that re source there. Better, better, better. And then one of the things I'm going to show you guys too that is kind of nice. Let's, um, I think I am, yeah, I'm logged into paper trading. Let's say I want to place a trade here. Let's, um, let's just, uh, where are we at? Oh, I'm do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to say it's probably going to go short. I'm just guessing here. Um, and this is just to show you guys what's going on. We're going to do one contract, 15 tick stop loss. We're going to take a profit at 25. You don't have to. I don't ever do a take profit. I only do a stop loss, but some people ask me about that. But let's click this. All right. Now this is on, this is on your chart now. These will disappear on their own after a second. The only, the only thing though is once you place a trade and you have your stop loss and stuff on there, it's gonna show up on each one of these windows. One of the things I wanted to share with you guys, let me plug this in here, is on, if you have an iPad, I'm gonna stop sharing, I'm gonna share the iPad. Continue. All right, what you guys see right now is my iPad. And this is what's really nice about TradingView is what you see on the regular computer screen is what you see over here. Let me refresh it. on the same channels that we drew are on there. And then you can also hit unnamed R2Y.
I was wondering why that trade wasn't showing up. Now I understand why. Okay, I was on the wrong symbol. So I was right, obviously, looking at this channel that we we're going to go down. But you just touch the, you can see the highlight of the blue. That's my finger touching each box. Then you just go down to the bottom and hit that square, and it opens up the one that you're in right now. All right, if I wanted, you just drag your finger on there. If I wanted to move my stop loss, you just double tap it and you can move it around. Modify order. And I can put that at, uh, let's go down here. Hold on a second. Of course, technology. I'm going to take this take profit out. If you forgot to put on your stop loss, you just click the middle on there. Let me show this again. Just click the middle. Don't click that other one because it'll reverse position. Just click that box and hit modify and it'll put your stop loss in there. You just double tap it with your finger and it locks it in and you modify it. So double tap. Move it around wherever you want it. I want to protect some profit that's in here. Modify, we can make it bigger. And now we have some profit locked in. So you're not stuck to just your laptop at home. Now you can place a trade from your iPad. You have to actually log in through the browser, uh, TradingView browser, not the actual app. Uh, that way your orders will show up on there. And you literally just click that little box at the bottom and it cycles between whichever one you want. So if we wanted this chart here, you just highlight it with your finger, click that over there and it pulls it right up. So let me see here. No, no. On. Trying to get to the chat box, guys, where I can see it. There we go. Uh, Theo, yes. Uh, let me share this other screen again so we can get back to your normal one. All right. Yeah, even, I mean, it depends on your trading style and how you trade. Where did my box go? Hold on a second here. Pull me. Yeah, so I mean, yes, I do take counter trend trades. Now, that one that was just on there, this was kind of a no brainer on, we're at the top of the channel. We've hit came down, it stopped out. So I was right on when we touch a channel line, I'm going to run my stop loss up right behind it because it's usually going to reverse. Now we came back up and that's the one we just took where it just came down on it. Now, if we came down off of this line here, typically it does this right here. It comes through then it comes back and retest that center channel line before it takes back off again. on it so let's see what else do you have on there counter trends you got me some part of the mean or just part taking a roller trade um theo the on the roller coaster trades i mean imagine that the channels are not even there okay so let's just say uh, we're going to take these off if they're not there you're going to make to me, it makes it easier to make my decision on what I'm going to do because even though this is a two or three minute time frame, uh, I mean, look at how long that one was. Uh, I don't know. I think it was up to 80 bucks at one time. And what was that? 20 seconds, you know, 30 seconds, something like that. Uh, you know, if you don't have a lot of time to trade, you know, you can't sit on an hour time frame. By doing the channels on your hourly time frame, you are 
essentially looking at a longer time frame on a smaller candle to be able to look for more opportunities. Let's just go over to one hour. All right. And how many roller coaster opportunities did we have in that entire time? We only had two. Well, you know, that's quite a few days between there and here. But if you go down to two minutes on there, you know, if you're not in front of the computer at all those hours, you have time where you can pick off. Uh, and that's where roller coaster really comes in handy is being able to pick off some of these trades. Like I, in the middle of this trade, would have never taken this trade right here because it's in the middle of the channel. That's one of the things I do like about roller coaster is it tends to grab trades that are in the middle that I wouldn't have normally taken. And now I could cycle through some of those other boxes. Uh, I don't even have bits on on this right now, Jeremiah, the, uh, just for demo in this. Uh, I've, I have been on my other personal chart. I have roller coaster bits and, and uh, Elliott Wave on there. And then I turn them on and off depending on which time frame. Uh, I do not run Elliott Wave on the two, three, four minute ones. Um, typically it's five minutes or higher for me. Uh, there are plenty in there if you go and look. I just don't have the physical uh, mental capacity or time to go back and forth between all of the, I mean, you'll wear yourself out mentally after a while. That's one of the reasons why we came out with roller coaster is it takes a lot of the, um, you know, if you were trying to cycle through all those time frames, you would have to isolate and everything else. This here, where'd my channel go? You know, I turned them off. There we go. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what's going on on this chart. And go back up here. We have two, three, four, and five. So what's going on? This one's violated. We're at the top up there. This roller coaster down here on a 10 minute. I'm probably not going to take it because the channel line's there. Like it might pop out and go like this up here. And then again, it might not. It may, it may violate it. I don't like trading in the evening time. Um, I just get hammered in the evening, so I don't usually trade it. But I, for my own personal trading plan, I only like to take trades that are at the top or the bottom of the channel. I tend to get chopped up in the middle uh, on there, but that's also where roller coaster comes in handy and will pick out some trades. Now on a 15 minute, it hasn't picked anything up in there. Uh, Theo, the bits, all right, they all work. It depends, uh, they all work together and they want some are more powerful than others on other days. It, like Paul calls it the trilogy between bits, roller coaster and Elliott wave. You have a tool to trade no matter what the market is doing that day. Now, some days are not trending days, so you're not going to get very good Elliott waves that out of there. If it's kind of a range bound day, you're not going to get, you may not get any Elliott waves on a range bound day. When you get uh, on range bound days, roller coaster is really good on, let's add, let me just add in bits on here and we're we'll just add bias and Elliott wave oscillator false breakout we'll add them all in here let me make them smaller and then what uh this is your, when you're moving your cursor around on your bias, your candle count is down right here. So let's blow this up. 
let's go to two minute. All right, so we had all these roller coaster moves. Let's zoom out, let our channels get in there. All right, would you say the two minute is doing pretty well on roller coaster? Yes. One, two, three, one loser, four, five, one monstrous winner right there. Six, seven, eh, this one had money at eight. No, there are two losers, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I mean, you're talking 13 winners and two or three losers. That's a, a pretty good, uh, and th this right here, make your whole damn week, you know, if you, you pull off one of these. Roller coaster on a five or six range chart. Now, the only thing on trading view, let me say five or six ranges. I don't know if I can do custom. Let's go over here and do. Five or six, let's just do six. I've never done that before, but it works. Let me turn off bits and Elliot wave so you have it off there. So it does pick it up. If you trade them, I don't trade them, so I have no idea. I, I honestly have no idea what they are. That uh, I was trained one way. I stick to my way and it works uh, on it. So let's go back to two minute. All right, look right here. Uh, th here's a prime example. Let me blow this up. This is a brand new roller coaster that's getting ready to pop up here right now. Two minute. See the red arrow? is telling you to go down, and this is your entry down here at 1074-ish, 20, somewhere right in there. So let's, there's your arrow right here again. See that arrow? It's pointing down. We're almost to right there. I'm glad this actually happened. All right. Now, Let me look at my other time frames and see where we're at. Um, um, we're off that channel line. I, I like the channel line because we just took a trade off that just a little bit ago, coming down. Um, and we're, we're not piercing the top of that channel. You see right here, we're respecting it and we're getting lower. Like this one touched it. This one was a little bit less, a little bit less, a little bit less. I call those stair stepping going down. I like what I see so far. All right, now I'll look on your two minute. Now you've got, it's point, painted the orange box on it. Now, typically once it paints the orange box, pulls back up in here again. And we could, since this is a two minute, we might get a couple around here. I'm gonna put 1073, 40, 20, just in case this thing rockets out of here, 1073, 10. Let's do, um, ten. I'm gonna place an order down there. 1073, 10. Is that right? 1073. It's 230. 15. Oh, damn it. I don't know what I did wrong. Wait, here, we're at it. That uh, I want to be one or two ticks below over here. So let's go back and look at these other charts of where we're at. So we've got a roller coaster painted on this one. We've got 
we're right on the channel line on that one. Four minute, right at the channel on that one. We've run out of juice on this one. I added all those indicators over here. I wanted to show you having bits on here on a two minute, for instance, right here, before this big roller coaster move here, okay, your bits came in here and told you to go short right here. We were, and let me turn on the Elliott wave. Okay. I think it stopped me out. Your 6-4 moving average, which is the red and blue lines right here, you want to be on bits. The rules are you need to be below them, which this candle open below it. You need to be below these purple pointed control dots, which were below that. And then the cyan line, which it's hard to see because of all, let me turn off the roller coaster, make it a little bit easier. Your cyan line came up and then crossed over coming down. This candle, when it opened, it opened, it met all rules to go short. Okay. Now it just so happened to be also a roller coaster move. You already knew it because roller coaster painted it over here. But bits got you into it earlier, which was about 71.80 um, before you got in down here at 71.10. I mean, this is a two minute chart, so it's not a huge, but eight ticks is eight ticks. I mean, it was at 40 bucks on Russell. Uh, then your roller coaster brought you down. All right. Now, same way going back up, the cyan crossed over your yellow. Your 6-4 moving average blue, blue and red lines right here. We crossed over both of those. Cyan crossed over the yellow. Theoretically, on paper, we've met all the entry requirements on uh, bits to go on it. So that would have got you in at 71.10, and the entry up here was 72.10. So 11 ticks, I mean, five bucks a piece that uh, 55 bucks beforehand and then it roller coaster took off like a rocket all the way up to here now that being said let's turn on that was on two minutes so how long was that 15 minutes What else would you guys like to see on here? Uh, I mean, I can rattle around for hours uh, talking to myself, but I want to figure out how to get these where you guys can talk to me. Um, I mean, with 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 people on these, um, it's a little hard to have the mic open to everybody at one time. Participants, here we go. Who's got a question for me? Yes, but, uh, Rob, the stop loss box does get in the way and you can remove it by right clicking and settings. Go down to labels and just uncheck that label. It also takes off your mid, yesterday's close, yesterday low. I know what those are when I see them. Uh, just uncheck that box and hit OK, and it's gone, and it gets out of your way. All right, uh, Shay, the right now trading view does not have specifically a dot D chart. So the workaround on that is instead of a daily chart, oh, well. Wow. Now, I don't know where this is isolated from, but it looks like we have, uh, hold on a second. Let's look on here on the Elliott Wave. Can't show me the Elliott Wave and then, all right, start on start bar one. So we have three, two, where's one at? One's gotta be way back there. 
Huh? Uh... All right, so all right, this is even a good, uh, even better example of taking a short, okay, we are on daily. Man, we might go, we go further down, guys, tomorrow. Um, but 24 hours. So what you do is you go in here. This is how you get a dot D data on your chart. Now it's going to be on a daily time frame, not on uh, the other ones. Uh, so you basically just go down here to the bottom minutes. Oh, excuse me, hours. You go to hours, click in that box, 24 and hit add. Now I've already got it right here. So changing that, this gives you dot D, uh, the data, this is what um, TradingView has told me in the response, that the data in the bars is based off of intraday data when you do 24 hours, uh, which is the same thing as a daily chart. And then go extended hours. No, Dylan J, I haven't. I am not talented enough to trade uh, more than I. I <laughs> I'm not talented enough to trade three, four, five, six things at one time. I have gotten uh, to the point. Uh, I work with John Garland a lot. Him and I talk probably three to four hours a day. I'm not kidding you. Uh, we just analyze the living hell out of the ES. And we might move on. Uh, he likes oil a lot, so I don't like oil. I like gold. He doesn't like gold. Uh, so um, I don't know. We might find a happy median in there for it. I just feel like if you – it was kind of like in real estate when I sold real estate. I specialized in new construction. I hated resale. I do not want to get in a car and drive all over town looking at 17 different pieces of paper. Uh, you know, directions aren't right. GPS isn't right. It, I would rather just be on a golf cart in one neighborhood and have, you know, 15 different plans I sell. And I was a master at that. It's like I took what I was good at and I just focused on it. And when it comes to trading, I like to just concentrate on one thing uh, and go from there. Awesome, Nolan Jay. All right, guys, we're getting close to the end of the hour. Uh, man, four of you all fell off here already. You're not even going to stay all the way to the end. You only got four minutes left. <laughs> See bits on a five-minute ES. All right, we go over here. Click ES. I do the continuous uh, contract. Five minutes. Close this off so we have some more room. Hey, did you guys enjoy the iPad thing? There was something new tonight uh, that they had on there where I could plug it in. Gives you a pretty good idea of what you can do with it. All right. ES. Five minutes. And you want three new messages. Man, James, this is the only thing with TradeStation. Uh, same thing with, I think Ninja, I'm trying to remember. I haven't used Ninja personally in a while. Um, Thinkorswim, I was just on the other day. And... I went like mentally insane after a little bit of how many clicks and you can't just take your mouse and just scroll. I mean, it's like, isn't it nice to be able to just be like, Hey, I want to make this a little bigger. I just scroll a little bigger, scroll a little bigger. Uh, I mean, I know on trade station, you can do it. The only thing with trade station and same way with uh, think or swim, you have to click the beaker, delete roller coaster off. Unless somebody's, comes up with a different way. I haven't heard anybody say this. Then you have to go back into the beaker, add the indicator, and it's a pain in the rear end. Trade station, you have to delete it off there too and then add it back on. There's not 
an easy button like this where you can just turn it on and off. And it takes three to six seconds usually when it pops back on. But yeah, look at ES, um, whoever it was that asked about that, uh, BG, that nice move on the ES right there. I mean, that's on a five minute, 87. Damn, went from 87 to 53. That's a nice move right there. Same way with this one, 246150 down to 243450. Now I'll tell you right now, I would not wait for this thing. Let me blow it up. I would not have waited for this to come all the way back up here and stop me out. When this is yesterday's low and we went to, uh, well, obviously we're on here, uh, 1500. When we went all the way down here, I'm like, I'm out, man. I'm, uh, especially towards the end of the day. Man, I tell you what, Bill, uh, they're going to wait until this uh, – Bill asked if you – I don't know if everybody can see his question or not. How long do you think full margin requirements will last on TradeStation and ES? Uh, I think they're going to be in for a little while. Uh, the volatility is just crazy how fast – it's not normal to whip around 40 points in seconds. You know what I mean? Like, so, hell, if you guys think about it, it wasn't too long ago – we would go all day and only move like 25 or 30 points, 40 points. And it was like, man, this is an inside day. Yeah, there you go, Rob. Once a VIX gets below 20. What's, uh, what, Rob, what is it at right now? It's probably like 60 or something, I bet. Steven, uh, when you're in a trade, let's um, – let me add, let's just do uh, five contracts. Uh, what is this thing going to go down? What do I think it's going to do here? Let's, I don't know. Let's just go short. We'll do five. Place five. If you want to modify your order, let me see here. I got to remember how to do it. You gotta cancel. All right, we wanna take profit. And I wanna say, let me go, let's just do 30, modify. Now that's five. Hmm. I don't remember. You've stumped me on that one. VIX is about 57. I was close at 60. Short five. Undock. Now you can't scale out on trade stations, uh, or excuse me, trading view. I think there is a way. I just can't remember exactly. I've had it on here of one and one. Uh, you just put me on the spot. I don't do it very often, so uh, pips price, time and order. Yeah, I'll have to play around with it. We'll do that next week. I'll add that to my list of things. Yeah, Jeremiah, it's 400, but I think, I think they have it at 800 right now. They've doubled it, which isn't bad. It's cheaper than what it is somewhere else. Yep. Cool, Stephen. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate everybody hanging in here for the week. Um, it means a lot to me when you guys show up. Um, anything that I don't use Infinity, Greg. Um, I have a complex of trying, like, I just can't have another window over here. Now, maybe if I watched, uh, like, Paul do it, um, it, like physically watch somebody how they do it i like when i place like for instance here let's just say i'm going short and i'm going one that i want to see the line of you know where it's at and if i you know stop loss let's say 25 modified on there i want to see that stop loss so that once it takes off 
and it's down here making money, I want to be able to drag that stop loss, like say right here to the, if we got down this way, I would drag it here to the bottom of those wicks. And, and as we go along, I like to just move it down as we go. I can't do that looking at the chart and then looking over here at the trading deal and then looking over here in that time frame. Hey, thanks, Bill. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know they, uh, they just closed down Florida. I think they said starting midnight tomorrow night, which I don't know if that means midnight tonight or midnight following night. Uh, they're shutting everything down here in Florida. You're only allowed to go to the grocery stores, uh, medical needs, and that's it. You got to stay home. Thanks, Rusty, man. You take it easy. Yeah, so, all right. So, hopefully this thing, will, maybe it'll go down a couple more notches here. May not. All right, so here at 25, I'm going to move this up right here. Click modify. And now I've got my stop loss in here. And this is what I was telling you. When it takes off, I want to be able to move this up and hit modify and see what's going on. I can't do that when I use a separate. Uh, uh, um, and that was what happened there. It's only five minutes. Um, I want to be able to see what's going on around here. And that's, that's my thing. And that's why I do it. James, absolutely, man. You, uh, you reach out to me, send me a message. Um, I show 24 that's left in the room now. Is that 34? But I don't, I don't think that includes everybody that's just watching. There's just people that are, uh, putting stuff on there. Hey guys, keep the comments uh, clean in here, Ike, that uh, you can be easily removed from the room just as fast as you went in it. Ike, uh, your, matter of fact here, we'll make sure that you can't come back on again the next time. I'm sure you'll find a way around it. You're probably the same one that was putting the crappy comments earlier. <laughs> it, uh, uh, I'm glad that you have such a boring life. I, that, uh, oh yeah, James, there's always somebody. That, uh, Yep. That uh, well, that's what happens when people get stuck at home. Let's see. Wonder who you are, Ike. That uh, trying to think of anybody that I don't like, and there's not very many people. I have no idea. And let's see. All right, guys. We'll see you later. I, I hope I don't see you again. Uh, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart that uh, you're not a good person. And I hope this is on the video uh, where it's on there. That... Uh, and just so you know, we have an email tracking thing on here, so I'll figure out which email you logged in from, and I'll probably know who you are tomorrow morning. So keep your little rant and raving going on. Uh, all right, guys. We'll see you later. Ike, I hope you fall off a cliff, and good night.